Hi, my name is Chad and I'm with Western Computers and today we're going to go through setting up unit groups and Dynamics 365 for sales. So to begin, we're going to click under sales. We're going to go to settings. I click on product catalog. And we're going to click on unit groups. So in this one, we're going to do soda. So the first thing we need to do is set up the base. So we're going to call this soda. Our primary unit will be can. So now that we have it configured, the first one, we'll click the arrow here. We'll click on units. And you see it'll bring it in. And the way you can denote that it's the base unit is when it doesn't have a base unit. So we'll click new unit here. We'll make this one six pack. six pack quantity is six and that is based off of the base unit of can being one so we'll save and close we'll add another one called 12 pack Quantity is 12 based off of the can, but you can also see six pack is there, so we could put six pack and two as the quantity if we wanted to. Save that. So now we can add the case. Now we'll do a pallet. Let's say a pallet is based off of 50 cases. So what we'll do, mark this as let's say that's 50. We're going to base that off of a case. Save and close. And so now you can see palette, the base unit is case, case and can, 24 is quantity. So now that you have your unit group set up, you can go back to your product catalog and begin to set up your price list and then your products. Please check out our next videos on price lists and products. Thank you.